And we welcome you to the Philcom Center here in Waipahu as we are ready for the springtime spectacular that is AZW's March to Madness. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us. Felipe along with Dangerous, Darrell Bonilla, DDB, and partner. Six hotly contested matches here tonight. The electricity in the Philcom Center is going to be unlike anything we've ever seen. Two championships on the line. Urban Swag defends the titles against Invincible as they invoke their rematch clause. Well, yeah, it's going to happen here tonight on this very special episode. They get their rematch. Urban Swag, we're going to find out if they're the real deal or if there's just a one and done with the Urban Swag. And certainly we got two great matches here on AZW on Olelo, making his official debut in Action Zone Wrestling, the one and only Hard Knocks Harrington, and he is out for blood. Yes, and I know he's one of your favorites uh, from what, what we saw happen at uh, AZW in the zone, but uh, he's making his official debut after... Uh, unofficially uh, getting in the way of uh, Chris Cavanaugh and Jeff Cobb's main event match at the last show. Two of the quickest superstars in Action Zone Wrestling, the one-man musical Rock Hard Rocco Chino takes on the unpredictable and the always wild one, Mark Anarchy. Yeah, and they got quite the rivalry. I mean, they go back. They're former tag team partners. They have one of the most uh, intense rivalries here at AZW. And tonight, we're going to see them renew it live here at the Philcom. It'll be a night of history, a night of chaos, a night of madness, as we officially welcome you to AZW's March to Madness. I may not know how to rip a fetus, and I may not have the best cardio in the world. The one thing I do know is that I am a good wrestler. I am just as good as Mark Anarchy, and in my mind, I am the complete package. Now tonight, I'm in my original reject colors tonight, in musical form. And tonight, this musical martial artist is gonna make you tap out, and Mark, you better do the right thing and tap out. Please, don't pull off a Misha Tate. See you tonight, Reject.
the madness begin. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us. Felipe, along with Dangerous, Darren Bonilla, DDB, and partner, you were here solo at New Year's Bash, and you saw the emphatic debut of one Hard Knocks Arrington. Yeah, it was, it was a complete shock to everybody, including myself. Um, he was scheduled to debut literally tonight, but he uh, got a little impatient, got a little premature, and he came out. And not only did he come out, he came out during the main event, and he laid out Jeff Cobb and Chris Cavanaugh. And certainly we can't forget on AZW's In the Zone of the unprofessionalism that he showed, walking literally off the set of the show and uh, leaving yours truly hanging out to dry, essentially. Yeah, and I, I don't know what his problem was. I know he said that you looked at him funny, but, I mean, it's like you're doing your job. You need to look at the guy you're asking questions to. So, yeah, so certainly. he's not really, uh, this guy's not really wound uh, the right way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, certainly, and he's not making any fans, to say the least. Hard Knocks Harrington, he bills himself as the dean from the School of Hard Knocks. Did you have a scholarship to that school? I did not. I did. I did not. And here we go, our first match here at the Philcom. See the crowd definitely getting behind Kenru Takudoki to start things off here. A perennial fan favorite if ever there was one. Oh, and uh, looks like he's going to super saint it up here for the human video game. Uh-oh. He said he had a surprise here tonight. I guess that's it. Harrington has no idea what to make of it. He's, he might just walk out. I mean, he's done it before. Arthur better watch out. He could get hurt. Arthur Pinpin, our official here tonight. And Harrington. Harrington's got a nice smirk on his face. Hey. I can honestly say. But, th but again, this is part of Kenru's arsenal. Oh, he no. gets into your mind with his sick little game and gets laid out with a clothesline. Just saying. And the Dean of School of Hard Knocks. Yeah, he, he's had enough of the, the fun and games. Yes, yeah, certainly laying the boots to Kenru Takadoki, Irish whip. Oh, what a big shoulder block that time. Down goes Kenru in front of a packed house here at the Phil Cup. Absolutely rocking it here, March to Madness. Uh, we were gone for about a month, but we're back, and the, the crowd, they're here with us, so we appreciate the crowd. And of course, AZW as a whole on an emotional high after holding their own in the Pacific Challenge for the All-Pro Wrestling promotion in California. Here comes Harrington with a big shoulder block, a second one, and a third one. I'm surprised Hard Knocks Harrington didn't, uh, didn't get involved at the APW. I mean, knowing this guy's mentality, he would have bought a ticket, fly up, and interfere in the matches over there, too. We've seen a lot of newcomers as we get a blatant choke here from Harrington. We've seen a lot of newcomers here try to make a statement, but I can't remember anybody in the history of Action Zone Wrestling to make an emphatic statement as he did at New Year's Bash. Oh, and, and, and you can see um, specifically Arthur Pimpin is the referee for this match because Richard Hamasaki refused uh, considering right. that he almost ended his career at, uh, at January show. Power oh. slam, oh. Snapped him over that time. Got two and a kick out here for the human video game, Kenru Takadoki. Yeah, and, and Arthur Pimpin, when he got this uh, assignment, like you could literally see like the fear in his eyes. Like he did not want to have any part of Hard Knock Sandra. And who could blame him? Certainly a threat for anybody in the ring, friend or foe of Harrington. Big knockdown this time from Hard Knocks. Yeah, Kenru's got to get back in this, man, because uh, except for that. Uh, that pumping himself up in the beginning. He's had no offense at all against Hard Knocks here tonight. Harrington trying to stretch him out, driving the knee to the upper part of the back. Kenru has not mounted any kind of offense here. He's mounted some distractions as Kenru's trying to brace Arthur Pinpin to alleviate the pain. A shot that time to the top of the head. Yeah, there's nothing uh, fancy or uh, finesse-like about Hard Knocks Harrington. Reversal. Float over. Oh, and a drop toe hold. And our first offensive move here of the night uh -oh. for Kenru. Look out! Oh, a thousand years of death! Welcome to AZW, Hard Knocks Harrington. Welcome to AZW, exactly. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Kendra trying to psych himself up. Harrington's going to set up Kenru here with a kick in the midsection. 
Uh-oh. Oh. Fisherman's Buster and a beauty that time. Center of the ring. Kenro's out. This one's over. Oh. Oh, come on. Well, the match was over. And you know the AZW fans do not appreciate that kind of uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. But the Dean from the School of Hard Knocks says class is not over. And Kenru is wobbly and woozy. Yeah, don't. And ripe for the picking. Yeah, you can't take Kenru lightly here. Oh! That's the School of Hard Knocks. School is out. Well, an impressive debut here, like it or not, from the all-out brawler, Hard Knocks Harrington. Yeah, I guess you can officially say that Hard Knocks has officially arrived here in AZW. And he's, and he's already calling out for the title already. And now he's laying the boots here to Kenru. The match is over. The match is over. Arthur's, yeah, Arthur's. Oh, and a snot rocket for good measure. That's how they roll in Connecticut. AZW roster, be on the lookout for the Dean from the School of Hard Knocks. A very boisterous crowd here at the Philcom Center as Anarchy is giving the fans here in AZW a little treat. Anarchy coming off a loss and the Pacific Challenge for all pro wrestling. Well, according to him, he didn't lose. Bobby Bolt lost, of course, not Bolt, him. Of course, Bolt not here tonight due to a broken hand. Anarchy pretty much left him high and dry in the ring. 
And Anarchy looking to get back at least into the title picture here in Action Zone Wrestling. I'll tell you what, Akuma, Shinoda, Anarchy, all these high flyers in this division here in Action Zone Wrestling, whenever you mix any of those two up, you're in for one hell of a match. Yeah, especially one with like a, like a storied uh, past as uh, these two guys, former tag team partners, former tag team champions as the society's rejects. That's right, and you can see a little ode to that on behalf of Rocco Shinoda wearing the hoodie. Down to the middle, and here we go. Anarchy flashing some uh, new tights here, along with Rocco. Rocco not going that traditional white, all black here. Former tag partners lock up in the center of the ring. Anarchy with a big arm wrench this time, trying to take down this lightweight, 134 pound rock hard Rocco Shidota. Phil Nelson and a hammer lock this time for Anarchy. Anarchy with another full Nelson and a snap there. These must be, might be the two most uh, energetic guys just from entrances alone uh, in the whole entire AZW roster. And particularly, look at, you look at Mark Anarchy and what he delivers. Do I have to look at him? You don't have to, oh, but okay. from the time that he comes out from that curtain and into that ring, and you've been in the business a long time, have you ever seen anybody quite anything similar like Mark Anarchy? Not in AZW, no. Anarchy with a head scissor this time. Akuma. Or making Shinona kicks out of that one and a headlock takedown here. Yeah, you can see they know each other very well. Another kick out here from Anarchy and a side headlock here from Shinoda. So it's going to be a catch as catch can match. Shoulder block and nobody's moving. Duck under. On a shoulder block takes Anarchy down. Another float over, clean frog. Here comes Shinoda, hip toss. Anarchy plants him. Shinoda kicks him off. Sweep under, cover. Didn't even get a one count that time. Another sweep under, here comes another cover. That one barely got a one that time. The pace is quickening here between Shinoda and Anarchy. Definitely is. But right now, Mark uh, trying to slow down uh, Rocco here. Rocco reverses. Anarchy held on. Oh, my goodness. A big boot right to the mush. That'll pull the plug out on any party. Absolutely. All right, that's just, that's just distasteful right there. Anarchy with no regard. For any manners, all he does is care about himself. Inverted atomic drop. A flying shoulder block that time. Takes down the former AZW Tag Team Champion. Where's Anarchy doing? Oh, the Anarchy splash. Two and no, a kick out. The best is, he says that Rip Fetus, and the audience is like, yeah, Rip Fetus. And nobody even knows what the hell that means. I'm not even sure if Mark knows what that means. I wonder if they should chant, retarded. And the crowd would be like, yeah. No? I mean, I'm I leaving you there with that one, man. It is a suggestion, though. But again, one of the things about Anarchy is just that he's so, you know, maniacal and methodical that fans are torn between cheering for him and booing him. Right, right. But he's always had that kind of personality with the crowd. He said, he told me before, he, like back in the days, he, he, he tried to be a good guy, and the crowd booed him, and now he doesn't want to be that, and they're cheering him. So it's a lot of cases, like the fans are just as confused as Mark Anarchy is. And, and this is a guy that wants to, oh, a good clothesline that time from Anarchy. This is a guy that wants to be the poster child and the face of Action Zone Wrestling. Here comes Anarchy. Anarchy takes Shinoda down with a bulldog. Anarchy on top. Here's a cover and a kick out at two. Anarchy has played mind games with so many wrestlers here in Action Zone Wrestling. The tassels on his feet, courtesy of Chris Cavanaugh, as he took him out of injury last year at New Year's Bash. But he wears, he wears it as a badge as ownership 
Like and he's, he's a, like, the man. Like he's a sheriff? A little bit. Like Barney Fife. Well, he claims that he's the sheriff backstage. And a beautiful total world flag head scissors. Shinoda in control. Good arm try that time. Oh, right in the side of the face there. Oh, the spinning heel kick that time. Nice elevation. Cover. On oh, the right shoulder, shoots up from the canvas, courtesy of Mark Anarchy. Nice offensive flurry there by uh, Rocco Shinoda. Get the momentum back in his uh, corner there. And Rocco's looking to make 2012 a much better year than he did in 2011. Oh, my. Now that's just called a kick to the back. And two more to the back of the neck. Inside leg is hooked. Here's one, here's two, and another kick out. Rocco Shinoda is a high flyer. He hasn't utilized that ability so far here in this matchup. Anarchy will bring some of that technical wrestling, and he does have a brawler side to him. Oh, and a big kick to the face that time. Hurricane of happiness, courtesy of Shinoda, as he's climbing the ladder to the top. Oh, he's going high risk here. Cross body block. One, two, and oh. another kick out, and a near fall. Got some airtime with that uh, crossbody. Anarchy will not die. Oh! That's a nice uh, knife edge chop and another one there by Rock Hard, Rock with Shinoda. Oh, we're serving up chops here in Waipahu. Shinoda sends him in. Anarchy holds on and leaves Shinoda in the center of the ring. He's saying he's smart. You know when they, when they go like that and they put their finger to their head? They're saying they're smart. I'm not sure what kind of intelligence he has not making a cover, not trying to capitalize on this offense. anarchy has got Shinoda Sin. Beautiful snap suplex. Anarchy says it's over, and Anarchy may be heading. Well, actually, he, did, he didn't say it's over. He said, <gasps> Might be heading to his deep roots, partner. That's how they talk in the gutters. Beautiful diving headbutt that time. Anarchy looking to take advantage. Here's the cover. And another kick out. And Anarchy is upset. And this jam-packed crowd here at the Philcom. That's a Greco-Roman temper tantrum. I remember when uh, Hans Schmidt did that way back when. Exactly, yeah. Remember that match? Yeah, I, I do remember that. That was quite a match. I think I was calling that match, too. Reverse Shinlock here from Anarchy. You didn't have, like, a Shamanad game or something? I did not. Oh, I did not, surprisingly. There's a shot to the midsection this time from Shinoda. Wow, look at the power on Shinoda here. Go to sleep. Good night, Mark. This one's gonna do it. No, it's not. Mark probably took his stay awake pills because he didn't go to sleep on that one. Shinoda trying to get the fans behind him. He says it's over. Shinoda gonna go back to that fireman's carry. Oh, he tried it again, but um, the race, oh, he spiked him. DDT. And both men down now. Anarchy trying to roll over, only got a two count that time. Richard's right there to make sure everything's going on. And again, at this point in the match, it becomes a mental battle when you hit your opponent with every single move in your arsenal. It's not getting the win. Kick to the midsection here from Shinona. Shinona went for the twist of fate. Anarchy with a schoolboy. Hey, wait, Anarchy's got the tights. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Wow. Nothing like a handful of tights. The proverbial. Maybe that's what Rip Handful of tights. Maybe that's what Rip Fetus means to rip your tights and yank it. By any means necessary, Anarchy picks up the win here at March to Madness. Oh, ha, ha, ha.
March to Madness, welcome to the dance. And tonight, I just defeated rock card Shinoda, this wannabe dancer. I just danced all over his face. But you know what? It was a couple weeks ago, I went to APW in Hayward. I got stuck with Bobby the Lightning Bolt as my tag team partner. But you know what? He screwed me, he screwed me. All he had to do was tag me in. Instead, he was greedy, trying to take the glory for himself. We end up losing. Even though we lost, oh, wait a minute. It's not we lost, it's he lost. We still had a chance. It was all down to Timothy Tratcher, however say his name, and our own champion, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb, he's a loser. We could have won this APW Pacific Challenge, but he lost against Timmy Trasher. You know why? Because he's a bloody wanker. Jargon, jargon. <laughs> you know what? I'm so frustrated. I'm. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. About two seconds ago, I said I was crazy. That wasn't crazy. Now it's crazy. Who the hell is Kaimana? Kaimana? To have a title shot against Jeff Cobb. I mean, I've been undefeated for the past five months. I beat Jeff Cobb twice. Kamana tried to shake my hand when he was in that stupid HEW promotion. I deserve a shot. But you know what? Coming in next at the AZW, April 5th, Eva Makai. I don't care who it is that Kamana wants to wrestle. I'm coming for your belt, and after I beat Kaimana, I'm gonna take over the world and rule the universe. You wanna know why? Because I am Mark Anarchy, and I am the best thing in wrestling. Or, or, 